In the last video, I showed you how you would prove sequences which are approaching positive or negative uh, infinity. In this video, I will be teaching you about monotone sequences. So we know that, that a convergent sequence is bounded and I showed this to you in, I think, a few, well, a few videos ago. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and check those videos out. So we know We know that that if that if a sub n is convergent, then then a sub n is bounded as well. So one question that they could ask you is is the opposite true? Is an is a is a bounded sequence convergent? Does that hold? It will will that be true? Well, one thing that I taught you in the logic uh, the, the, the episodes uh, was that the if and then statements, you know, have a direction. It only holds in this direction. You can assume whichever. So if you have if a then b. I taught you that, you know, for the, for this, for the, you can assume A and it's called the premise and you have to normally prove B. So this you can assume and you can normally prove this. So this, if, if this is true, then this will be true. And I showed you that for if and only if statements, you have, you have A, if and only if B, and you have a double-sided arrow. So for this, you, you, you will have a A, uh, implies B and B implies A. So this serves as an equal symbol. So so the, the, you know here you can assume B and you can show A or you could do the reverse. You can assume A and you can show B. This is not an if and only if statement. This is an if then statement because there's only one arrow. This implies the the head tells you what implies what. This thing implies this thing. However, it, the, re the reverse is not true. If a sequence is bounded, then it doesn't have to be convergent. And if you don't believe me, we, we have talked about this specific sequence. Let's talk about, I don't know, is it negative 1 to the n? So, so what, what does this look like on a, on a graph? This, this looks something like this. It's 1, uh, then then negative one, one, negative one, one, negative one, and you keep going. Clearly, this is bouncing around between one and negative one. Clearly, this, this has to be bounded. This is bounded. This is bounded above. This is bounded, this, this is bounded above by one. And we call that uh, the supremum as well because a hundred uh, the, the the value a hundred uh, bounds this from above as well. But one would be the least upper bound, so we call that the supremum. And it's also bounded below, so bounded below by a negative one. Again, this is also bounded below by a negative a thousand. However, negative one is the infimum, and it's the greatest lower bound. Anyway, so this is bounded because it's bounded above and below. So this, this sequence, a sub n, is bounded. So a sub n is bounded. However, a few videos ago, I proved to you that a sub n, this, this uh, sequence, is not convergent. So this would be a, a, a counterexample if somebody was to tell you that, oh, whoa, all sequences that are bounded are also convergent, then you can just talk about this example. And this, you know, does not imply, does not, that's why I'm drawing a line, does not imply that a sub n is convergent. Only, only the opposite holds. Only if, so if some sequence is convergent, only then uh, is, is that bounded. However, the reverse is not true. However, the following is true. What I am about to tell you has to be true because it's a definition. So this is a definition. Let me use green because I normally use green. Definition. So we call a sequence a monotone, monotone, uh, increasing. 
So a monotone increasing sequence. So a monotone increasing sequence means that you you know your terms you know are getting larger and larger. So your first term will be less than or equal to your second term and your the third term will be less than or equal to your second term and then you keep going okay so that's what it means for you know something to be monotone increasing so a monotone a monotone decreasing sequence i sure hope you can guess what i will say so a monotone decreasing sequence means that the terms of the sequence keep getting smaller and smaller. So the first, so your first term is larger than or equal to the second term. The second term is larger than or equal to your third term. The third term is larger than or equal to your fourth term and so on. Now, we say, so we say that, that we say that a sequence sequence is monotone monotone or monotonic monotonic actually that's how you probably pronounce it monotonic which so if it either so if it either either monotonically monotonically increases or monotonically decreases. Okay, so, so, unlike boundedness, you know, your monotonic sequence only has to follow one. So recall that, where should I put this? A bounded sequence, a bounded sequence, is one that is bounded above plus bounded below. However, for some sequence to be monotonic or to be monotone, it just needs to be either monotone increasing or it needs to be monotone decreasing. Since this is a definition, let me put this in a rectangle. And this is quite important for, for this course. So let me, let me give you an example because, you know, the video would be a little bit empty without me giving some sort of examples. So example, example number one. So, so if we have, if we have a sub n is equal to n. So what does this sequence look like? It's well, a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, and so on. Then you substitute that that the values into your n so a sub n looks something like one two three four five and so on this is uh, if if i was to take the set of a sub n then that would be equal to the natural numbers so what is this is this monotone increasing or monotone decreasing so since we hopefully it should be perfectly crystal clear that 1 is less than 2, which is less than 3, which is less than 4, which is less than 5, and so on. Clearly, this is monotone. This is monotone. Monotone. Increasing. Increasing. I really hope that there is no doubt about this. All right, let's do a harder a little bit well nothing is really hard but let's do a little bit more complicated and more and more involved uh, the question let me choose a sub n to be one so this sequence will look something like this one 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 and so on so there are infinite many infinitely many ones so somebody comes along and asks you is this monotone or not? So, is this monotone? So, is is a sub n monotone? So, at this point, I will ask you to pause the video and try this question by yourself. So, I'm assuming that you tried it, and and well, 
The answer is perfectly clear. It's both monotone increasing, monotone increasing, and decreasing. Now, some of you probably understood why this holds, but for those of you who do not understand, let me go back to the definition. Let's go back to the definition. It says that it's something, so a sequence is monotone decreasing if, you know, the term a sub 1 is greater than or equal to your second term. Similarly, it says that, you know, it's monotone decreasing if the second term is greater than or equal to your third term. Look at the equals. One possibility of monotone decreasing is if all the terms are equal to each other. Now, similar to monotone increasing, if you look at this, a sub 1 is less than or equal to a sub 2, and a sub 2 is less than or equal to a sub 3. Okay, so the equal signs are why, you know, the sequence just 1 is both monotone increasing and monotone decreasing. In the next video, I will present to you the monotone convergence theorem that we will end up using for limb soups and for limb imps. So stay tuned.